Now we are going to talk about parameter tampering attack. Let's talk about the background concept about parameter tampering. It is based on manipulation of parameters exchanged between client and server in order to modify application data such as user credentials and permissions, price, quantity of products, etc. Let's talk about the example. See, parameter tampering can be done on the perform fields, on the cookie fields, or on the, or on the gate based parameters. For example, consider a user who can select from field value like combo box, checkbox. What if we, you will able to modify the, the, that fields data? That's called parameter tampering. This is another example. Our application is taking a product cost by this method so in this example an attacker can modify the value information of a specific item thus lowering its cost example 3 this is a banking website where a attacker could tamper with the URL using other values of profile and debit so a user wants to debit some amount from their profile to someone else what if I will use profile someone else profile there and I will debit 2000 and if the application will successfully take this then there is a parameter tampering. Let's talk about some concept there. See basically browser or client send request to the server that we are sending price of this product 100 bucks to the server. What if someone will intercept the request and modify according to the evil minded person like we can do price to the minus 100 or 1 bucks and if server will take action on that only then there is a parameter tampering. Second case is sometimes you will find this type of situations where QTY equal to be 50 and price will be 100. What if I will change this to 500 and you will able to uh, get 500 quantity in 100 bucks so then there is a parameter tampering sometimes you will just get this type of situations where you will find cash buff to zero and amount of 100 for one product what if i will do this 10000 and if you will get successfully 10000 cash back then there is a parameter tampering on cash back field i hope you understand the logic behind parameter tampering and you will have clear visual about this parameter tampering in the demonstration phase. We will see in next chapters, next lessons. I hope this is clear to you.